Glory, glory, glory be to God Almighty for the grace that God has given to myself and you. If you are here and then you know that God today will do wonders in your life, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, I want to say this. For those that believe that today, because you are here, that God will do wonder in your life. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If by faith you know that tonight is your night yes. and not tomorrow, yes. I want you to shout a bigger hallelujah. hallelujah. Let us have a seat before God. I appreciate God for his love. Please, we need to get our Bible for many of us that doesn't have one. This church has like a million Bible, please. And to them as many Bible as they can. And uh, Misha, if you can get mics for anyone that wants to read the Bible, just get them as mics so that they I want to appreciate God for the grace that God has given to myself to be here. It is not by coincidence. It is the will of God. Amen. And that will of God will be made manifest in all our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. And also I want to appreciate my fathers because it has come to an age now that I believe the word that has been told of old. You know, they, they will say that when an elephant blows his is it us? Trumpet. That the little one of old they say they are not supposed to blow, but these days the the old ones, the little ones, to blow their own trumpet so that they will not begin to blow nonsense after they are gone. Amen. So I want to thank all my fathers that are here. Um, Baba Kondi, thank you for this privilege, and then my regional Baba Nifolami, thank you for this privilege, and also to this church and the man that God has placed in charge of this church. I want to say thank you for this privilege. I pray that every privilege that God has given to us will never be taken away in the name of Jesus. Amen. And also for everyone that is here, I want to thank God for your life. I buy Bikule and every other person, Mama Yad, Mama Yad. Mama Yad, Mama Yad. And all the children and my sister there. That is the reason why God has chosen that each of us will be here today. And I pray that that purpose will be fulfilled in all our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us quickly open to the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 4. We just want to start with that. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. For anyone that can find it. Romans 15 verse 4. For whatsoever thing were written. Uh, please, I would like that you read it in the mind so that people at home can hear what is being read. Yes, ma'am. For whatsoever things, for whatsoever things were written, that is written before time, before time were written for our learning. It is written for our learning that we through patience, that through patience and, and salvation said endurance and comfort, uh -huh, of the scripture of this scripture might have hope. We might have hope. I want to tell you something that tonight is a night that God wants to rekindle his hope in you. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Oh, yes. yes. Many of us have our own challenges. Sometimes people look at the shepherd and they think the shepherd does not have any issues. They think, oh, that man, all he does is sit at church, eat, drink, and sleep. What does he know? He doesn't even know about anything. But I tell you that everyone has its challenges. Even when the shepherd has nothing to think about, their mind is on the members. How the life of the members can be better. Because the better the life of the members, the better the life of the shepherd. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah! I want you to point towards me and say, God, make the life of this man better in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, make the life of this man better in the name of Jesus. And I pray that everyone that is saved by the power and the grace, God will make your life better in the name of Jesus. Amen. That was actually a test, sir. Because we are going to get there. What I was told that I'm going to be speaking about is world by the world. 
And I want you to understand today that words are very powerful. And I believe that I'm speaking to the kingdom builders that are here. People that want to, from today, begin to direct their own affairs through God. To begin to tell things to come into being by the power of God. I pray that God will endow us with that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, I want somebody to open to the book of Psalm 33. Psalm number 33. For those that are joining online, I hope you are with us. Because power, strength, and grace, and favor will be flowing through this world into our life. Amen. Psalm 33. Let us read from verse 6 through to 9. Psalm By the word. Yes. Of the law that heaven are made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. They are, they are tarry host uh -huh. by the breath of his mouth. And every host was made by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the water. I want us to look at that first. Hold on, man. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. And the host by the breath of his mouth. Everything that we have now, everything that we are still going to experience and that we're going to get there, has been spoken into manifestation. It has been spoken, and so we are now just experiencing that which has been programmed. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah! Uh -huh. Read on, we'll read tonight. He gathers the world. Through this word, he told the waters to gather themselves together. Of the sea into the jars. He put them into a place. He it's put up, you know, with the word, just command something and just stay here, put it in a jar. Uh huh. He puts the deep into storehouses. Those things that are without measure, he gave measure to them. This is your place. You cannot go beyond, beyond this. Beyond that situation. You cannot extend. You no, unless if there's a little flood or something like that, but your place is your place. Uh huh. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Uh huh. Let all the people of the world refer him. Uh -huh. For he spoke. Yes. And it came to And it came to be. He commanded. Yes. And he stood first. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here that wants to become like Christ? Every one of us wants to become like Christ. But the thing is, this Christ is God. And look at it. He spoke. And it came to be. He commanded and he stood firm. I believe that's the biggest thing that I'm asking that God will do for me. Okay. That I wake up in the morning and I say, God, this is today. Today, this is what I want. You know, sometimes I do that, sir. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I do that. I'll just tell my week how I want the week to go. And I tell you, if there's no doubt, my father, it comes to be. Oh, yes. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah! When you look at the book of Genesis, because it is world by the word that we're discussing today. If you look at the book of Genesis chapter 1, if you look at verse 1, verse 3, verse 6, verse 9, verse 14, 20, and 24. In the beginning, it, it, yes. God created the heaven uh -huh. and the earth. Go to verse 3. And God said. And God said. Go to verse 6. And God said. 9. And God said. And 14 God and God said 20 and God said 24 and God and every pronouncement became a manifestation. Yes. Okay. Are you with me? Oh yes. Every pronouncement became a manifestation. That is how our world was formed. This world was formed was framed by words. My word, your word is framed by what? Words. And so I want to tell you today. Your life is a reflection of the kind, let me, let me put it, the quality of the words you listen to. Are you with me? Yes. Your life is a reflection of that quality of the kind of word, whether that you speak or that you listen to. Because most things that are called in a life is that words spoken by you or what that someone speaks into your life. Yes. Words are powerful. Can you look at someone and say, Words are powerful? Words are powerful. 
Look at somebody that says words are powerful. Words are very powerful. Find somebody that is not saying anything and say God's words are powerful. God's words are powerful. Amen. Amen. Hebrew 1. Hebrew chapter 1. Verse 1. Let us read it down. Long ago. Yes. God spoke many times. Right. And in many ways. Uh huh. To our ancestors yes. through the prophets. Yes. And now yes. in these final days, yes. he has spoken to us yes. through his son. Uh -huh. God promised everything to the son yes. as an inheritance, yes. and through the son he created the universe. Uh -huh. The son radiates God's own glory yes. and expresses the very character of God. Yes. And he sustains everything. Yes. By the power of his command, yes. when he had cleansed us from our sins, uh -huh. he sat down in the place of honor yes. at the right hand of the majestic God in heaven. Uh -huh. This shows that the Son is far greater than the angels, just as the name of God gave the name God gave him is greater than their names. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, the women that are here, I would encourage, and you can go on the side. I would encourage that you didn't want to leave because daddy didn't have a mic. Please. If you look at that Hebrew chapter 1, 1 to 4, I'm going to give us some understanding there. In the past, if it says, Many times God has been speaking through prophets. I think you didn't give me what I was saying. You don't like me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't want to sit here by the angel who asked me when they were giving people water. Why didn't you ask? I want a woman to read that April 1 to 4 again. In the past. Uh huh. God spoke to our ancestors. God speaks to the ancestors, Moses, Joshua, and many others. Uh -huh. Through the prophets. Through the prophets. And many times and in various ways. In various ways. Uh -huh. But in these last days. But in these last days. He has spoken to us by his son. He is speaking to us by what? His, his son. son. Are you listening to me? Oh, yes. Are you with me? Oh, yes. These days, God is speaking to you through, you are supposed to be listening to God through his son, not through any other means. Don't worry. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Uh-huh. Who be appointed heirs of all things. Yes. And through him also he made the universe uh -huh. the sun is the radiance of god's glory you see when we talk about him making the universe when you look at the definition of universe universe means worlds it means worlds without end it means ages time over time things that has occurred in the past things that are still occurring things that will come all of this christ you see the thing with I'm, I'm trying to find a simplified way to put it. When God said, let there be, he was speaking the word, right? Yes. yes. And who is Jesus Christ to you? The word of God. The son of God. Jesus Christ is the word. Yeah. So every time that God said, let there be, mm -hmm. it was as actually Christ in action. Are you with me? Oh, yes. Yeah. And through Christ, every of this universe was made. And I'm going to get, our father is going to talk about this maybe tomorrow. But there is a place that I'm going. Are you with me? Yes, sir. You see, everything that you find in this world was created by Christ himself. Just by the spoken words. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you look at verse 3, what did verse 3 say? The sun is the radiance of God's glory. Christ is the radiance of God's glory. Uh -huh. And the exact rep representation of his being. And he is the exact. You see, when God made us, he made us in his image. Mm -hmm. 
But when, he, when Christ came, Christ is the God himself. The, em, the embodiment of the authority of God. Uh-huh. Sustaining all things by his pow powerful word. Yes. After he had provided purification for sins, yes. he said that at the right Just sit down. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That verse 3 makes me to understand that the word of God is the only thing that sustains this act. Sustaining everything. Which means if we take out the world, everything will collapse. Yes. yes. I want to ask somebody here. Is there anybody here that has seen God before? I know maybe my friend have seen God. Anybody that has seen God. But we have faith in God, right? Yes. And we believe in his existence. Hebrew 11, 1 to 3. Now, yes. faith is confidence is what we hope for. Yes. And assurance about what we do not see. Uh -huh. This is what the ancients were commanded for. Uh -huh. Verse 3. By faith. By faith. We stand that the universe was formed at God's command. Everyone here understand that the universe was formed by God's command. It is by faith. It's not that we were there. Uh huh. So that what is seen was not made out of what was in or what was visible. See that God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. What's that? What he's saying? Everything that was created was created by the invisible word. The word of God, invisible, make the things that we can see visible. The word that I love there is, is in number three. It said by faith we understand that the world was framed by God's command. The world was formed by God's command. And when I look at the word framed, are you with me? Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The word frame means to put in order. It means to fit. It means to arrange, it means to equip, and it means to complete. When you tell somebody that, what's your frame of mind? What does that mean? It means the state of that person's mind, which means without the frame, nothing can stand. Before this place would be put into place, they, they first made a frame. Yes. And then they begin to build into the frame. And that is how we have a house. But before they start building, there has been what we call some speaking together. Okay. How do we build that house? We have to do it this way, do this way, do this way. Without those words, this house cannot come to you. Mm -hmm. The invisible world, making the world that we see visible. That is just in the normal world. And the Lord told me last night, he said, why did you think I told the Israelites to put the blood by the lintel? Why do you think? And the Lord told me, do you know that lintel is the frame of the house? Yes. Mm -hmm. So once they put it on the lintel, it covers the whole house. Because that is the foundation of the house. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Oh, yes. He told them put it on the doorpost. I said, Oh my god, I didn't even know that was why. Because I was wondering if it should have been a mark on this person's head. But if it's a mark on this person's head, it won't cover out that one person. But as long as it's on the doorpost, as long as it's on the frame, the whole house is covered. Are you with me? Yes. So, how possible can man flow in the realm of God? When it comes to speaking into being. Because some people would say, ah, we are human, so we don't have that, that kind of power. When you get to Genesis 2-7, what, what did he say there? He said, when the Lord formed man from the dust, he said, what did he do? He breathed the breath his breath, his own breath, into his nostril. And that breath was called what? The breath of life. And said, man became a living being. 
God makes something in his own image. And this same bread, you know the word is the bread. This spoken word is our bread. When he now brings the word into man, and we say that word is who? Jesus Christ. In the beginning, what was God implanting in man? Are you with me? Oh, yes. So man, as of today, we are supposed to be commanding things to existence. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for that mistake that occurred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone is supposed to be just wake up in the morning and command the day. And that was why when Christ came, Christ came to give us that which we have lost. But my father will be talking about that tomorrow. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So the question is, what is stopping man from manifesting like God? He told us in his word, ye are gods. Yeah. Right? Yes. Son of the Most High, right? Yeah. If you are God, you are supposed to do the things like God. Why is it now that we cannot speak, many people cannot speak into existence? But then we allow others speak. So people will wake up in the morning and the first thing they will do is to speak negativity into the whole day. Mm. Mm. Maybe they are able to wake up on the left side and say, ah, they've already told me, or oh, my grandmother told me anytime I wake up with my left side, it is a very wonderful day. Wonderful. So they will call the day, they will call the day whatever name that they want to call it. And so all through that day, the evidence that they will see is that negativity that is spoken into existence? Oh my God. Mm. Are you with me? Yes. 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 Mm. Many people don't even know what is wrong with their child. But every time that that child do anything wrong in the house, mm. they, they will speak into the child's life. Some of them don't even think they are cousin. They call they call you bastard. You fool. You fool. You idiot. idiot. Dumb. And in yes, that which is spoken, the invisible word, became a manifestation in the life of that child. Yeah. And then they'll be saying, ha, how did I, how did I, how did I even do it? I, I, I saw a woman that was saying, I, I don't even know. I need to, I need to go back to data and look at that night that I, that I had to, I just come in and sleep with the husband. I think that night I should stop anything. I'll look at I told her, I said, no, this is your product. We frame our whole world by the world. Every one of us here, either you allow somebody to speak something to your life and by virtue of you being ignorant, allow it to fly. Uh, 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 at my place of work, you have people who call themselves fools. If you call me a fool, I would say no, it's, it's not going to fly. Because you fool, you fool, you fool, you fool, you fool, you fool. And I begin to watch their life. In some years again, they, they could not they even approach that position. They begin to do foolish things. I mean, things that, you know, you just wonder how, as old as you are. Your world is framed by your world or by someone's world. May God be with us in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. The book of Mark 23 says, Everything is possible for one who believes. That belief is what we call faith. Many of us think, Ah! Until you kneel down and pray, that's when this will occur. Just look. Do this maybe tonight before you go to bed. And begin to look at some words that you have spoken in the past. And begin to see if it has not become manifestation one way or the other. Maybe something you've spoken concerning your spouse, something you've spoken concerning your school, your career. That's why people that know me, I will not, it does not matter how you try it, I will not speak a wrong word. Because I know how powerful words are. But I tell you this, to be able to access this greatness of God, you must have the God egg in you, which is Christ. Which is the first thing that was given to man. He breathed into him the breath of life. 
The evidence of one's faith is your character. And that's what people don't understand. Evidence of your faith is your character. How you speak, how you walk, the things you do, all of that forms and frame the world. So if you are the person that comes to church on Sunday and you are the holiest of all holy in the church, and then when you get to work on Monday, every negative word in this world you speak. And then you wonder why your word is not going good. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to, what, another thing that God gave me understanding about is, maybe you are here and you are thinking that things are not going right. Probably you have tried everything. You just see that you have fallen from one thing to another. Maybe, I'm, I'm, I believe I'm speaking into the life of somebody today. But I want you to understand something. The Lord said, have you studied Joseph? Joseph. Joseph did not do anything really, really wrong. Yes, he might have done something to his brothers, you know, reporting them to the father and all of that. But is that thing worth selling him to stay free? Is that thing worth somebody thinking they've got to kill him? But then he was taken, sold into slavery. From slavery, that's not enough. Got into Potiphar, was framed by Potiphar's wife. From there, he had to go into prison. From prison until he got into the limelight, where God exalted him. One thing I want you to understand is all this was framed and planned by God for Joseph. All of this. Many of us are actually going through some things now that those are steps. You see me, I tell people, maybe because of how I grew up, when I see you attacking me, I'm rejoicing because I know that there's something big coming for me. The Lord sat me down yesterday and began to reveal to me, my brother and the Lord, people that I thought were speaking good of me and the Lord showed me like this having conversation and speaking evil of me. And God said, this is just for you to know, it's not for you to take action. These are some of the things that will push you forward. If these are things that will make you better. But you see, the time that we are going through all of that, we are thinking God has neglected us. God does not care. I, I mean, Joseph did not steal. Joseph did not drink. Joseph did not go to a nice club. He did not humanize. He did not do anything. But then, Everything was going wrong in, in our senses. We think everything is going wrong with this guy. What did he do? I bet some I bet if people know Joseph, then they will say, maybe his father did something wrong. Maybe he's just inheriting the sin of his father. He must have said something. He must he, that must be something. But everything was framed by God. I want somebody to open to the book of Psalms, Psalm 105. I want somebody to read verse 1, verse 16, then you go to 20. You can start from verse 1, and then when I tell you to stop, you go to 16, and then you read 20 to 24. Give praise to the Lord. Give praise to God. Proclaim his, his name. Uh -huh. Make known among the nations yes. what he has done. What he has done. Sing to him. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Uh -huh. Tell of his wonderful heart. Tell of his wonderful heart. Glory uh -huh. in his holy name. Yes. Let the heart of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Uh -huh. Look to the Lord and yes. strength. Yes. Seek his face always. Seek his face always. Uh -huh. Remember the wonders uh -huh. he has done. He has done. His miracles. Uh -huh. And the judgment yes. he, he pronounced. Uh -huh. You, his servant. Yes. The descendant of Abraham. The descendant of Abraham. His chosen ones. Yes. The children of Jacob. Uh -huh. He is the Lord our God. Yes. His judgments are in all the hearts. Uh -huh. He remembered his covenant. He remembered his covenant. You see, when he came to time, he remembered his covenant with the Israelites. He remembered his covenant with Abraham. Even with the suffering of Joseph, when he came to time, he remembered. Because it was already planned. The question is, if Joseph was not in Egypt, can he become the prime minister? No way. No way. And do you think 
anybody in his right mind that has a colorful clothes that is being loved by his parents enjoying every benefit that is needed will leave that benefit and walk into Egypt. Because Joseph was having the best time of his life. He's the supervisor. I call him the special supervisor. He doesn't do anything. He just go check his brother and then gossip to his father. Hey, my brothers are doing this and they're not doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me tell you, if some things are not happening to you now, you might not be able to get to where God wants to oh, get you. Yes. yes. Speak. Maybe you think, oh, ah, God, me. After all that I've done, why me? Why now? Why this time? Why me? You know, we we'll sing that song. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Some people will even say, maybe that church. I don't think the shepherd is a spirit anymore. I don't think the prophet are in spirit anymore. Then go in spirit now. <laughs> Abi. And if it's that, is it? Verse number 16 of that 105, what did he say? He called down, he called down famine on the land. Look at, when the time came for God to now make the riches with all the things that Joseph has gone through, what did God do? Cause famine in the land. And destroy all their supplies. And destroy every supplies all over. And he sent a man before them. But God has already sent Joseph to, to, to Egypt to speak to the, to the ears of the king. Let us begin to save. Because there's going to come a time of famine. Am I joking? Am I so God is performing him. God bless you. Amen. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love Mama Mayado. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, to fulfill his word, send a famine. You know, because God might want to fulfill his word in your life, it might send such Amen. that there will be a time that you are longing to have, but you don't have. And everything seems like ah, ah, me, a homie that used to spend money anyhow. Now, this ah. Are you with me? Oh, yes. This is what God is. I, whatever God tells me, that's what I'm going to tell you. This is the discussion that I had in the middle of the night. So God sent the drought. And that drought was what brought the whole of Israel into Egypt. Mm. And that drought was what made Joseph the prime minister. The best that they've had in that time. May God fulfill His word in your life in the name of Jesus. For somebody here that is looking unto God for a change, I speak this word of God into your life. Amen. That that change that you need is here in the name of Jesus. Amen. He came back. Uh huh. And releasing. He came sense. Imagine. The king now sent to Joseph and he listening. This is a person that has been in jail for as many years. But when the time comes, you see, we can be in a situation for some time. If the time has not come, burn the old candles that they have in this church. <laughs> it will be what I call, my dad will say temporary fix, temporary fix, temporary fix. <laughs> That's what my dad will say, say temporary fix, temporary fix, it will be temporary, temporary fix. And you know, temporal fix is what makes shepherds look like they don't know what they're doing. Because you come and something quickly happen, and they say, hey, that shepherd is powerful. And they say, Shh. And they say, that shepherd is not powerful again. And then again, you come again, boom, something happens. Hey, that shepherd, hey, fire today. And then something goes, ah, what is wrong with that shepherd? <laughs> if your time, because his word framed the world. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want to believe it's 10 10. Am I correct? 10 11. 10 11. Okay. 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 Let us go to 20. 20 to 24. That's 105. 
The king sent and released them. Uh -huh. The ruler of people sent, set him free. Yes. He made him master of household. Uh -huh. Rulers over all he possessed. Yes. To instruct his prince. Yes. As a priest. Yes. And teach his elders wisdom. Yes. Mm. I pray for somebody here that God in his infinite mercy, it is time. He is sending his word to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will set you above to instruct even those that think that they are wise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Imagine there are so many wise men in Egypt. Before you say, and now he said them above them. So nobody, nobody does anything unless he says yes. This is the person that has been almost killed. Sold into slavery, drop into, almost raped, drop into well. like about <laughs> yeah, drop into a well, a dry well. Thank God, thank God is dried. <laughs> you see how God works? Why is why is it dried? Because God doesn't want him to be dead. <laughs> eh? With everything that is happening to you, even with your shouting and your arguing, maybe it's with your children, maybe with your wife, maybe with your husband, and all of that, you are not dead, and you think that God cannot work miracles. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know many of us, many people that have more than us, they are begging for their life now. Mm -hmm. Some people can pay anything just for God to grant them the opportunity to step out and walk around before they die. Mm -hmm. Just God, open my eyes for one day. Let me be able to see my children, my grandchildren. See how everything looks. And then you can take me. And God will say no. No way. Somebody here is receiving is, is receiving ease or am able tonight in the name yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. God told me that, I, I don't know, I think it's because of we that are here, that everything that is happening in your life and my life, he has already planned it. Planned ages it. to come. Oh, yes. Ages to come. If you read the book of Genesis, you understand that everything that occurred in the life of this child has been predestined. Oh, yes. But you know, one of the things that God told me is, I don't like to repeat myself. Many of us love to change the game. <laughs> and once we change the game, I said it last week in mainland, God began to change the rule. There are some things that God has set down that you have to go through. You can't, you can't dodge it. So, so many things. If God has designed you to be a doctor, go around and begin to do some other things. You'll find out that until one day maybe somebody else, you just find yourself in doctor's office and you just love it and say, you know, I can do this course before you know it. Mm -hmm. But the timing is the issue. May God help us in the name of Amen. Jesus. God promised to bless Abraham. There's a word that God will not change. Every word that God has spoken into your life, he will do. But you know what? The timing and some of those things is in our hands. We can choose now and we can choose later. Genesis 15, 12 to 16. You can read it later. Makes me to understand that Abraham was the one that I chose later. When God told him, make sacrifice for me, he made the sacrifice, put it out. God sent birds to eat it. He began to kick them he out. Them he began to chase them. He began to chase them. You know, I didn't know God is a very good multiplier. Maybe, maybe, maybe one time he chased them, it's a hundred years. So, one, he chased them, <laughs> two, three, maybe four. four. Or maybe it's fifty for one. Maybe he changed it like eight times. With the day, right? How many times? But after he has chased, imagine, the, that when I read that this morning, I was like, what? After he has chased the bed, chased the bed, chased the bed, mm -hmm. by verse 12, they said, as the sun was setting, Abraham fell into this sleep. He was tired. Of trying to protect that which is God. That God Himself did not come in human being but send words. And God came into his dream and told him, Look, uh, okay, oh. don't worry, oh. Mr. Chesa. <laughs> because of this that you have done now, your I'm still going to bless you. But your children are going to go into slavery, they are going to suffer for 400, 400 years, years, and then I'm going to make changes and all of that. And that was what gave back to Joseph. You know, it's a professed word, framed word. That's what took Joseph out of his place 
to Egypt. Everything that God said came to be, go to Egypt, became great. The enemy hated him. They made them slaves. And as much evil that the enemy did, they were just increasing. I, I don't understand that. How can the enemy be trying to kill you and you are increasing? You see, this God is the is the God hallelujah. that you part of. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Do you know how many people that want to kill you and myself? Even you, you are complaining you don't have money. But somebody is ready to kill you because of the little that you have. So I don't know what's up with my wife. But somebody else is ready to kill you. Just to have that wife. That's what that you are complaining about. Somebody is ready to kill you for that husband. I'm telling you. Are you with me? Yes. <laughs> we will not waste our time in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. If, if, you need to understand the gospel. You need to understand this. I want you to write down Genesis 15. Get home and read it. Genesis 46. Because of time, we, we still have another, another program by 11. So I'm trying to, and we have to pray. Genesis 15, did we write it down? Yes, Genesis 46, Exodus 1. Genesis 46, Exodus 1. Out of Apostles 7, 9 to 25. So for that... Genesis 15, you can just read 12 to 16. Or you can read the whole of it. Genesis 46, you can read 1 to 7. 7, 9 to 25. Exodus 1, 1 to 11. I'm going to round it up by saying this. Do you know how to access God completely and be able to profess into existence? Do you know there's only one thing we need? Apart from you having the Lord Jesus Christ. One thing. The Lord told me, good character. Why did you wonder when, after all that Abraham did, when he was 99, God told him, walk before me and be. And be perfect. That means, before that time, <laughs> Baba has been walking in imperfection. Are you with me? God said, anyone that comes today, have Christ in you and have good character. Don't think of doing anybody evil. Don't think of pulling anybody down. Just have that good character and have your God. Then you need to speak into your word every day, every minute, every second what you want. I think just uh, me, it's just me, it's, I, I, it's not in the word. I believe this was what Joseph was doing every morning. He was just repeating Isaiah 18. Here am I, and the sheep then the Lord has given. We are for signs and wonders in Israel from the Lord Almighty who dwells on time. If maybe this was what he was just repeating every day. So even when he was dead, that word was manifesting. Mm -hmm. The question is before you go to sleep or when you wake up in the morning, what words do you profess into your life? Confession is possession. God bless you, sir. Confession is possession. possession. What words do you confess? What words do you use to frame your words when you want to go to sleep or when you wake up? Are you the one that you always call somebody about your children? Call somebody about your husband? Ah, I think somebody is trying to do this. So, I think, so everybody is running around and the things that they are doing is affecting your husband. And you don't even have an idea. You know some people, they know how to talk. Ah, I saw one woman with him. Oh, it is one thing so... Everyone that goes around to say they have it, they are not actually helping people. I'm not going to lie to you. All of these people that want to help many of us, they will just want to become Lord over us. It's as simple as that. That is what they want to do. May God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us rise on our feet. Let us just stop it there. Our Father will start from we'll start on that tomorrow. Let's start on our feet. In 77. Oh, um, can we read it in English first so that my sister will understand it before we start singing? 
In seventy seven. Read. I'm on read in English. The sun and the moon. Yes. Divine light and the star. Divine light and the star. Bow down before the most glorious king. Bow down before the most glorious king. The glory of thine holy host of angels. Yes. Shining brightly before the creator. Shining brightly before the creator of all things. Uh -huh. Worthy of praises, uh -huh. thanks and glory. Yes. By his words. By his words. That is where I'm going to. That verse two. By his words. Can somebody say by my word? By my words. Uh huh. Indeed, the wind came to exist. Yes. Adore him, King. Yes. Sing ye sweet melody. Yes. That the words bestowed unto thee, uh -huh. ye host of angels. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to use our word tonight. Can you talk somebody say, I'm going to use my words tonight. I'm going to use my words tonight. I'm going to use my words tonight. I am going to use my words tonight. Let us sing that in some seven Yoruba and then we'll pray. Oh, oh, shupa, ye mole, ye rawo, e wo, e wo, Jesus. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Amen. Please, if you are home and you don't have a candle, please get water with you. Just get water and pray with it. The Lord will do his wonders in all our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.